everybody welcome back to another episode of just create once again i'm thomas duran your host and owner and founder of td films welcome back to another episode i'm really excited about this uh episode like i am with all of them but this one's get ready to have your get ready to be able to run through walls after this conversation i'm bringing on a fantastic guest his name is dom fawcett he is a thought coach leader speaker author um author of a book called think react lead guy has a tremendous story tremendous knowledge and information that we definitely want to drop here today so without further ado dom how's it going my friend outstanding brother how you doing man i am doing fantastic hey man thank you again for uh coming on this show i know you've been a busy busy man so um but just to all my viewers out there real quickly uh tell me a little bit about tell everyone who you are and what you do and kind of a little bit about where you came from Dom Foss said, I am a, a speaker's coach. I'm a speaker. Um, I'm an author, best-selling author. Um, you know, just a regular dude. I'm a dad. I'm a <laughs> husband, right? I'm a neighbor. I'm a guy that likes to skateboard, wakeboard, uh, race Ducatis. That's track, right. Track Ducatis. Not, let me not say race. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to, that, to the track this weekend, my wife and I, oh, on nice. our bikes to go do 48 hours of uh, fun. But prior to that, you know, what, what, what got me here? is my, my background is prior military, Air Force K-9 to be exact. Um, I was uh, in law enforcement, so I was a cop. I was a, uh, a street cop, just like what you see on TV. And during those two uh, areas in my life, a lot of darkness, a lot of fun, or what I thought was fun, and it, it, it took me down a path that uh, I've seen a lot of people not make it out of. So I'm, I'm 40 now. I mean, I was in my 20s when that took place, but it took me until I was in my... I'd say mid mid thirties to pick myself up by my bootstraps and not uh, let let the best years of my life be taken away from me. So here I am, just engaging. And like you said, I, my, the title of my book is "Think, React, Lead." When success and accomplishments aren't enough, and you know, I got a brand, right? Think, React, Lead. But this is not why we are here. We are here because my man T Films is 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 awesome. He's he's, he's a oh, solid man. videographer. He, I've seen his 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 stuff. I was introduced to him last year, and uh, he was introduced to me by a guy named, by the name of Colby K. And 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 Colby K. Typically, he just works with the best. That's why he brings me on to speak, and that's why he brings TD Films on oh, Thomas Duran to do his thing. You know, he brings him a world class individual. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yeah, we met at, we met at uh, at the meltdown in the desert, like you mentioned, and. Uh, you you're, you're you're a keynote speaker there and you're there again this year coming up so um, I am I am there this year speaking yeah yeah I'm definitely very excited about that and and so in his talk I tell you what it pretty much everyone in the room was one fired up speechless at the same time but just it you could you could just hear you could just hear people just being motivated just by off of your talk your story and it was it was absolutely amazing i had the privilege of being able to edit that together have it listen to it over and over again and i tell you what man it still gets me fired up uh today but uh what i'm really impressed about is and the reason why i want to bring you on here is a couple of things so you started this brand it's just really recent that you you <laughs> kind of have yeah, really did this year. last year like like yeah. meltdown the desert was sort of your coming out party right or i would say so yeah you know it was uh, i started with leaders for leaders and that was the fourth company name i was trying to go with and then uh final and and the uh mantra for leaders for leaders was think as an executive react like a soldier and lead and then one day just saw it sitting on the wall because i put everything on my wall like an, an artist would do and write everything down and my wife just said hey what do you think like think react lead what do you think about that i'm like that's dope let's do let's it do it yeah and and that's that's kind of what started that yeah it was june june of, of last year is kind of when my brand started it's amazing and what's crazy now is now i see you everywhere you're on the news all the time you're on you know you're doing different podcasts you're de you have your own podcast i believe you do your own yeah. stuff um and you're doing tons of uh content creation and it's just it's absolutely amazing and what's also amazing and this is the reason i want to bring you on is that you're doing a lot of this video content creation and you're not a video person you like you look, I, 
I mean, it's just no. right? like, like, so tell me, a little, so when you first kind of did your videos, what, what kind of experience were you having? You know, what, what, um, what was it like when you first try to get dab into video doing it on your own? It, you know, the fortunate thing about not being that smart is you don't overthink things. Um, I have a phone that I paid at the time, like $700 for. <laughs> it had a video camera on it and I could press record. Then I could <laughs> repurpose that 30 second video on Instagram. Um, and I was walking through the halls at work one day and this, this guy that he's the, he's one of the only people I've ever met that's comfortable. Give me, giving me Dom Fawcett style of feedback. For some reason, people just get uncomfortable with giving me feedback, whatever. Um, but this guy was like, dude, Where's your videos? And he's not an, like he's an entrepreneur, but he's not like our type of entrepreneur. He's not an Instagram social media guy. Yeah. He's like, bro, you got a message. He said, you have the potential to be one of the greats. And he's just a dude from New York. He's a Jamaican from New York. And he was like, oh, that's awesome. You can be great, but I don't see you doing great stuff. And I looked at him. I'm like, OK, so what's great? He said, bro, where's your videos? His name's Justin. And I, I said, I don't. What do you mean videos? He said, man, just grab your phone. Don't be dumb. You paid how much for that phone? And this is literally how he's talking to me. He said, just use your phone. And then um, I, I actually hired a uh, coach as as well. And, and he said, just grab your phone and do a video. So my first video was sitting on the bed of my truck, if I'm not mistaken. He scrolled down to the bottom of my Instagram if you have time to do that. And it's, it's still there. And uh, I did a video and uh, posted it on YouTube, put it on Instagram and and then I, I, I also knew, you know, when you follow people like John Maxwell, T Tony Robbins, Eric Thomas, before anybody knows who they are, they probably have two, 300, even 500 videos out before they're global, before anybody knows who they are. So they have, and I, my goal was to get to 500 videos. I'm like, if I can get to 500 videos, then by the time somebody sees my video for the first time, I'll have a cache of videos they can go through. It's reps. I mean, in the military, you want to get strong, you do push-ups. Yep. You know, I remember we used to do five, try to do 500 push-ups in an hour when I was deployed. And all that does is make you stronger. But that's with anything. It's simple. It's consistency, right? The Bible talks about hard work. You just do, you work hard, you get the fruits of your labor. So I don't, I'm very one plus one is two. I knew that in me, I saw the John Maxwell, the Eric Thomas, the Tony Robbins. Like I saw that, but what I didn't see was was implementation. So it started with it. It's free. Yeah, right? it's free stuff. There's absolutely no excuses. And, and you're sure. you're the type of guy. And I think maybe this is why a lot of people may be <laughs> intimidated, or <laughs> is that you're just a no excuse type of guy. You do not let anything anything stop you from being in front of camera or you never let stop anything from saying your message, speaking your mind and speaking it truthfully and with passion and also with dignity at the same time. It's not just about this is what I do. And you, you guys no, you do it with such dignity and, and, and that a lot of people can relate to, but at the same time, you have no excuses because you're to you. You're like, if I could do it, then any, you know, there's no excuse why you can't do it as well. Right. You know, right. So. It's, 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 it's a mindset, right? And I, I, I talk a lot about command presence um, and command presence is, is just doing that thing, right? I've kicked in doors. If I can kick in doors without a bulletproof vest and still live as a cop, so it was kind of legal. Um, if I can kick in doors, there's really nothing and live, there's nothing else I can't do. Like it's just videos. And what's crazy is when I see people that, well, you know, how do you get on the news? Well, I, you don't just start on the news. I Most of the way I get on the news is with the PR, but my my job as a client is to make make her job easy. I need to be the best client she has. And for those of you that have never been on TV, when you're on the news, they literally literally heard you're sitting in the green room, green room. They heard you. You know, you rushed in. You might be there for two minutes, and then you're out. And you yeah, you're out. You you got to fill that dead space. They'll ask a question, like it's live. Oh, There's yeah. no room for error. So how do you become a better speaker in on 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 the media platforms, not social media? But on the actual television broadcast, like the networks, you use what you have. It start you have an audience of one, and then you have an audience of five, then it just rolls up from there. But it's practice, and and I use this trick. I mean, there's apps and stuff, but mm -hmm. here we have a post-it note. 
right? You have 60 seconds on Instagram. So you do your video, but start with the back end. Start, start on the back. You have 15 seconds. What is that called? Your Instagram oh, story? Yeah, the Instagram stories. Yeah, yeah. 15 seconds. If you don't know what to say, write down two key points on a post-it note. Take this post-it off. Attach it to the side of your phone, not in front of the camera part. <laughs> you got yourself your own little teleprompter. You, got, you have a teleprompter, <laughs> right? It's free, ink. This, right? This probably came from an office I went to. It's probably, probably didn't pay for this. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I mean, if, you, if I come to your office, hide your post-it notes. Hey, luckily um, I got none. I'm always right? looking for them. I got none though. <laughs> but man, it's it, it, for me, it was simple. That's how I started. But also as a speaker, the more videos I did, the more content I created, so when I get on stage and somebody says, hey, we had you slotted for 10 minutes, but can you do 45 minutes? All right, cool. I talk about the same stuff. Like it's all it's, it's all up here. Exactly. And it's it's a matter of finding that voice. And that's kind of one of the things that it, w the last episode we were talking to Kobe and, and, and I was asking him, how do people make the transition from doing their own videos to how to how to um, find uh, like transition from making their own videos to hiring an, another videographer or a company going a little bit more of a higher end style of video, that type of thing. And, and he mentioned a really good thing is, is that do your own videos to, to learn and to be able to develop that voice, your own right. voice, your message. And, and you work with individuals, you work with businesses to help with that becoming their, you know, coming clear on that voice and that message. Can you tell us a little bit about like what, uh, I mean, obviously not, you know, <laughs> don't you have to give all your secrets away, but. Uh, um, Even if I did, most people won't <laughs> use it, so it's fine. But like, what do you tell people or, and how do you work with people that uh, they're trying to find that voice, to find that clarity so that when they do go on video, they're getting more and more confident every time. So my, my, my paid clients already have a voice and I, I, I help them take their current voice and really draw emotion out of their audience. I don't typically, I don't allow people to pay me that don't have a voice, right? I, 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 gotcha. I work with people that are skilled. Um, now, if, if you want to just, and this is everybody's question, how do I find my voice? And you don't have to be a speaker to find your voice. See, when I found my voice, it, it, it built confidence in what I do, what I did, who I am, who I wanted to be. And all of those four quadrants that I just mentioned are the same person. And that's what allows me to be the same person on social media as I am on stage, as I am on TV, as I am if you see me at Starbucks or Dutch Brothers, like wherever you see me, I'm the same person. Why? Because my voice is what I've become comfortable with. So what I do with, with if somebody just asked me, how do I find my voice? Um, I, I, I literally just ask them what they're passionate about. And most people don't know. Um, then we find out what it is, what is it that causes them the most pain? And they'll typically bring up something very surface cause they haven't thought too much into what causes them pain. But when I get to the point and, and they get to the point of understanding what their hurts are, yeah. when somebody understands their hurts, they can typically go, go back, go back in their past and their hurts are, are what dictate their 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 outcome or their their results. Like I wanted to make six figures in the corporate world because I wanted to prove people wrong that said I was dumb, right? Teachers that said I wouldn't I wasn't gonna make it, or people that just discounted my existence as a whole, right? But um, now I do things, you know, for the lighter side of this of the scale. But you you won't truly find your voice until you put in reps. I mean, the voice. Not that you won't find it. I found my voice, but my voice yeah. is different today than it was a year ago. But that that comes with maturity. That comes with various coaching, right? And yeah. that comes with I don't care what practice. industry you're in, you got to speak. <laughs> exactly, right? It comes with practice. I mean, it's even when I first started this show, it was hilarious. I started looking back at my very first episode and then when I didn't when I did with with the last episode, I was dumbfounded how much more improvement. Not I even mean just in my production value. Uh, I was right. at, I'm like, you know, I gotta start add lights. You know, I start. You just start building up, but it had to start from some point. And uh, one of my messages that I've always done and always said that don't be a fear of sucking and starting off rough at first. You have to go through that process. You have to you in order to get to where you're polished and in order to get to where you are 
know exactly clear on what you want to say, you have to kind of go through that beginning stages of pretty much like adolescence, learning how to speak again, like as if you were a little kid, you're learning how to speak in in a part where you say it draws emotion, where it draws attention and and finding that where my voice is not going to be the same thing as your voice. Right. Like I, I, right. I can't just go ahead and command a room just like how you command a room. It's it, there's two completely different personalities, two completely different styles, you know, that type of thing. So it's like about being yourself. And and I I tell you what, man, I, that's 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 what I get from you is like it's even though the 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 command that you bring on it everyone can have that somewhat of that same command but in their own style right like, right and uh, and I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll never forget I don't know I don't know if you posted on Instagram or if you posted on um, Facebook whatever it was it was on one of those things and I just started laughing because you were giving a talk and you literally were like hey I'm talking. You know, like I'll stop talking if you want to keep talking to the crowd. <laughs> I just was like, yeah, that was uh, that, that, that was two, a <laughs> two or three speaking engagements ago. Yeah, a guy. One, um, I have non-negotiables. One of my non-negotiables is is being disrespected. And if I'm speaking and you're talking, you have a problem, <laughs> and you don't want a problem with me. And I'm gonna call you out. It's just it's it's my nature. That's that's my time to shine. And when you interrupt my time, it's it's a problem. And, and the guy in the back of the room was just he was talking loud and I, sh I shut him up. I love it. I mean, it's, it's, it's respect. If, if I don't respect me, nobody's going to respect me. And no no woman wants to be with a man that doesn't respect themselves and demand respect from others because I give respect to others. And, you know, I. I I'm a little biased, but I think everybody has the ability to command a room the way I command a room. Can they yell? No. I mean, my background, I don't think I yell. I'm just very, um, it's more of a, of a drill sergeant yeah. approach to my yeah. speaking style. It's just my, my, my style, but it, it's, it's not, people aren't, aren't, aren't afraid of the camera. No. What they're afraid of is being judged. Mm. Very right. Good point. People Very are good afraid point. of being judged because you do a video, it's out there. And then they don't know because they don't know how people are going to react. That's what they're afraid of. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. I agree with that. It, I get that one. hundred percent. Like even when I first started the show, I, I'm like, how are people going to react? Even even not just the random people that are like your friends or even acquaintances or people that may understand that may that have kind of done these thing, sort of things. Right. They understand the process that goes through this. Like it's tough. And then uh, but like that's more the closest family that's closest to you. They're just going to be like, what are you doing? They're like they would judge you right off of the bat. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, you're just like, well, that's just what I'm doing. You know, live with it, deal with it. And so you just kind of have to get over that. But uh, kind of going back to your journey of video, man, when you first started, because um, I see you now, man, you 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 you've really put an investment into your production, into right. your content creation. Um, what, and you've done it pretty quickly, to be honest with you, the, the, the amount of investment that you've put into it. Like you said, you really started last year and now it's one year later and you have been going around. I mean. You've hired on people to be able to do some production stuff, kind of doing some lifestyle videos, looks like, and and right. uh, and and really creating that content. How did that progression go, and and what what made up your mind and saying I I need to do more than what I was doing prior than just looking at the phone? Uh, um, I look at speaking very differently than probably most people. And I don't, I don't even think I've ever shared this like on a podcast or with anybody, to be honest with you. It's my little- Heard it first here. <laughs> my, little, my little secret. But I look at speaking the same way a musician um, looks at rock or the same way a lyricist looks at rap. It's a show. And I also look, I'm a coach, right? I don't, if you're gonna hire a coach, scroll through, the, scroll through their, their social media Instagram, their Facebook. And if you don't see growth, they're a garbage coach. Like for me, I, I, I can't expect my clients to pay what they pay me. And I don't have growth, you know, every six months. If my videos still look like they did a year ago, there's a problem, right? Um, I want to be on TV. I want to be famous. Like I, I, I want my, 
I'm going to be the next Les Brown or the next Eric Thomas or Tony Robbins. And in order for me to get there, I have to, every day I wake up, I have to act like I'm there. So when I wake up, I have to ask myself, given the fact it's 2018, what, what, what oceans can I play in where, where I'm the best, right? And, and right now, and I can say, I call myself, you know, one of the best unpaid speakers or the best speaker that nobody's heard of. Cause most people haven't <laughs> heard of me, but when I get on stage, like you, you won't, you won't forget me. Exactly. But when, when you see me on stage, I need, when, when you get nosy and you Google me or you Instagram or Facebook me, I need my presence on my social media platforms to match the, the opulence that you see on stage because I come with the, you know, the suit, the shirt, the look, like I look like somebody. And if you don't think so, well, dag nabbit, I feel like somebody. <laughs> and I I need my imagery on all platforms to look like that. And I never saw myself as a lifestyle guy until somebody introduced me to an audience. Yeah, he's a lifestyle. So he's a, what do you say? So a lifestyle social media influencer. I'm yep. like, I have 800 followers on Instagram. <laughs> How am I an influencer? But that's what he saw. I never saw myself as that to me. Riding Ducatis is normal to me. Riding skateboards and wakeboarding. I mean, I busted my butt to have this lifestyle, but I also know that it encourages people, which I'm excited about. And I, I try to bring people into my circle of fun, right? And and to me, life is, is about having fun. I might be dead tomorrow. So I wanna have as much fun today. So how did I get here? I just, I, I was always open to feedback, always. If, and I would get messages on Instagram. People would say, hey, Dom, you should probably do this. Hey, Dom, try this. Hey, Dom, go buy this camera. Hey, Dom, I stopped using my phone. I started using a camera. Um, this, this, what I'm using right now is yep. like a, a, a conference camera. I have lights all over my room. Like, what does a news, bro news broadcaster use? They use lights. And, and you know, sometimes I have to put on makeup, right? Because if I ride my motorcycle all night long, I get bags under my eyes. Well, I don't want to show up on the news. Like I always want to look fresh. And what did Kevin Hart say? He said, um, if, 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 if you're going to pay to come see me, I need to give you the best version of me. So for me, if you're going to wake up and, and, and scroll through Instagram and Facebook and you're going to see me, it's for me to give you the best version of me. Like I owe that to you as an audience. Oh man, that is, that is powerful. That is, uh, you, I don't even know how to follow up with that. That is, that is brilliant. And that is absolutely brilliant because um, that is something that I'm always trying to strive. And this is what this show's going to help with is, is how to help um, other people increase their production value because you understand the importance of it. Like you said, when right. people look you up, you want to see that this guy is his product, his value is worth what, what he's saying it is right. Like it, and, and you're, you're speaking, well, let me let me back up first here real quick. Um, more like when they see you on the, on the line and that very first video that they see, that's their very first impression of you, right? Right. Like that, and and you either they're gonna love you or they're they're, they're gonna be like this is garbage and you you you've you've lost them, you know. Right. Or it's gonna be really hard to get them back. I mean, but uh, and, and so the production value that you're putting into your stuff into your content creation, man, I have to say is is absolutely top notch and you're not a video guy. So that's a, that, that's where I want, I want to stress is that you do not have to be a person that knows how to do video. You don't, you just have to know some of the, just understanding the basics of like, Oh, having a couple of lights up makes the world of difference. Oh, it have, does have a nice little backdrop. You know, it's not just because I remember when you came down here to my office one time, you we were talking about, you know, when I how, first started. Yeah. When you first started, we we're talking about like, well, you know, you don't want to be in such a flat or you want to, you know, it depends. Like, obviously, depth. like, you're, yeah, the depth of, of that you want to go into. It just right. adds that little bit of extra thing that we see all the time, but we don't realize until we see crappy video, right? Right. <laughs> and then you're just like, oh, this is wants, I mean, nobody wants crappy video. And it's it's little things like here here's a tip I did like somebody I wanted a like a camera I wanted a DSLR because I I needed my my videos to just pop a little bit more but I didn't have like 800 bucks to drop on a decent camera but I didn't want to spend 300 bucks and regret it so I ended up going I went to qvc.com so say you have bad credit I don't but say you do and you you don't want to put the money on a credit card you go to qvc.com you can purchase a camera 
And at the time I did what's called easy payments. It was six payments. I could afford that. So I did six easy payments and I could afford like, you know, it was like, it was like 180 bucks a month for six months. But in the meantime, I have a camera. Then I had this camera and I didn't use it for the first six months because it, it intimidated the heck out of me. The, the ISO, the black, white, the bat. And I was like, man, I don't have time for all this. I went back to my camera because it was my phone because it was comfortable. That's right. But I, I had somebody, I met somebody and he was like, dude, let me just show you how to use your camera real quick. You're good. And then I couldn't afford the, um, the lab mics. So I went, to, I went to Best Buy and I got an Insignia microphone. So it's like a 10 foot cord, plug it into your phone. It was 39 bucks. I connected it to my shirt. So when I did my videos, my camera, my DSLR, so my, uh, is a Lumix yeah. FZ 1000 is on my ring light. I'm here. It looks like, it looks professional. I got the little black mic here and I'm good. Now I have the, the lav mics that attach to my camera, you know, and I have some other things. I have a drone, a couple drones, but it's, it's buying one thing at a, at a time, but you treat yourself. Say I won't buy anything until I do, until I have 50 videos completed. Cause I see a lot of people do this thing where they buy all this stuff, never use it. <laughs> yeah, I I think it's just because they're once again they're intimidated, they're scared, they're no, yeah, it is intimidating. Yeah. You don't yeah. know technology, I I don't. It, but one, you one figured thing it out. Time. You figured it out one thing at a time, right? You figured it mm -hmm. out, and that's and that's that is where um that's your true testimony to what I you know what this message, what this show is all about, and I keep on repeating that. I understand that, but that's just because that's what it is. I want people to be able to understand that you don't have to know the technology. You'll learn it one step at a time, and don't fear, and just keep on doing it. And, and buy, don't do the free apps. If you're going to use an app for your photos, for your videos, spend the three ninety nine, the seven dollars and ninety nine cents, the nine nine, whatever that little amount is. Spend that amount of money on that app. Learn one app at a time. I mean, I have fun with apps, and you know, it, it there's a lot of apps you can use. You know, for 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 pictures, I use Fonto. For video, I use a handful of other apps. But the, start using the app. Like those apps are there, and they they make your average person. So I suck at technology. Video is not my thing. But the moment you learn how to use a GoPro, the moment you learn how to use a drone, the moment you learn how to use like any of these things, and then you just put it in an app and you and, and, and then you you merge all the little videos together. You know what also helped me? I, I mean, most of my stuff's Mac. Apple does these free classes. I went to Apple. <laughs> I did a 30 minute free class on iMovie. Mind blown. You did that. You I did. did. Wow. Free. It was free. <laughs> and you know how they are at Apple. They're so passionate to help oh every, anybody out, right? You walk in and you're like, you feel like you have friends and they don't even know your name, but like they 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 help me out. And I'm sure, you know, and any you other- came out with the watch later on, right? And then you get- <laughs> Oh, bro, man. Every time I go in there, it's like, you, you have got to something. have part of the yeah. ecosystem. I'm like, no. That's the thing. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm bought and sold. It's with everything that I have, it's, it's the ecosystem of- of the Apple. Now I have everything right. Apple, you know, and right. it all started with the freaking phone. You know? <laughs> phone, exactly. Yeah. And uh, so that doesn't change. And it's the way it is with my cameras too. Like I, a lot of people ask me what kind of equipment I use and things like that. And, and I've always been a Canon guy. Trust me, Sony has some of their DSLRs and their smaller cam, their mirrorless cameras, way right. better features, way better uh, specs on it versus than a Canon. But I, I'm in. I I love Canon. You know? Yeah, like it's it's your thing. It's just my, all my yeah. videographer friends and photographer friends love Canon. Yep. I I I use. I like the price of a Lumix, and for <laughs> what I do, it works. My next camera will be a Canon. You know, it'll probably what is that Mark? Uh, the Mark. The far the Mark IV, the five D Mark IV. Yeah. Or yeah, the five D Mark IV. That'll be my next it's camera. A solid camera. It's no, a, that's a look at that. It's a, like yeah. the pictures that thing takes. You know. <laughs> If you're anything like me, and I'm talking to your audience, make friends with videographers and photographers. <laughs> there are so many of, of them out there. And most of these people that have these cameras think they know what they're doing. And they, they all, all you need is somebody that knows a little bit more than you. And get some, like every, every three months, get professional photos done for your social media. And I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. There is somebody out there looking at your brand that isn't going to contact you probably for another three to six months because they're waiting to see what you're about. 
They're waiting to see if you're going to make a mistake. I literally just left San Diego talking to a TV producer about creating my own reality TV show. That was yesterday. Wow. How did that happen? That happened because of my stupid iPhone and you doing videos and making sure my message is, was consistent. Wow. I stayed in my lane. And why, I mean, let's just call it what it is. I'm a black guy that rides skateboards, that wakeboards, that rides Ducatis, that you let me tell it, has a hot wife. Like there's just a lot to my brand. And I strategically post these things. I've always wanted to be on TV. I mean, I didn't know how I was gonna do it, especially as a kid, I stuttered until I was 21. But I, I knew that I needed to see myself there. And this guy saw me speak. And months later, he would just, I, I knew he was there, but I didn't know what he did. And a couple of weeks ago, he said, this is what I do. I, I connect people with, with, with um, media outlets. Yep. And I've done these with other companies. And I was like, wow, I didn't know that. So I, I had a five hour meeting yesterday and that's, that's what we're working on. So by the end of the year, I should have a show. Yeah, I, it all started with my camera on my phone. Isn't that just amazing? And and uh, you will, you will, because you you definitely you have that definitely a TV personality. You can. Uh, Why? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come off very well. Um, no, that's that's really exciting, man. That is really, really exciting. And you're oh, exactly I'm right. stoked. And it, this is this is this is what I'm trying. You know, one of the things that I think a lot of people get frustrated with is. Not everyone gets to explode or or be you know they could be posting content and if they if they're getting frustrated with that they're posting but not maybe getting as much engagement or right. involvement. Um, one of the things I, I one of my messages is to them is keep on doing it because there it, it is working. There is something that is becoming beneficial. It's all not it's not for all for not right. Like it's not, right and. and you're you're developing your voice. You're getting more clear. You're getting practice. How many times have I practiced in order to get this straight? You know, it's Seriously. Just, <laughs> seriously. You know, <laughs> how many times have we done IG stories and hit delete? <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate that. Like no, it is gone. Yeah, exactly. So it's just a matter of keep on doing it because things are working in the background. And then one day, it, it something's going to happen. And for you, it looked like you know, like you said, you just got noticed. It's, now there's a possible TV show involved, and that's pretty freaking amazing. So you kind of brought up one other thing. I want to kind of end on this, or we can end on a little bit here. But uh, you mentioned that there's tons of videographers out there. There's a lot of people that know camera content. And, and I come from the old school um, where I, I got mentored and, and taught and learned the ropes through people that were, um, you know, in – the I call it the old school form where I mean they they had to work themselves up from from the bottom. There was no schools for video. There was no trial schools for bro yeah through trial and error just through doing it. And uh, now these kids these days, so I call them kids because they're younger than me. But right. a lot of these people, you know, they're going to school. They get I mean high schools now offer video production comp you know pr programs. You know a right. lot of, and 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 it's just become a lot more readily available. So there is a lot more out there. So there's a lot of competition, but there's a lot of competition in the fact of there's there's still amateurs, but there's still professionals. What do you look for when you look at, you know, because there is an abundance of quote unquote videographers. And I like to think of myself as more of a, a, a company, a cinematographer, a, a, you know, something that's a little bit beyond just, just a camera guy, because that's not, you know, I started off as a camera guy, but now I've kind of grown into more of a. A, a, a content creator, a, a, you know, right. a director, a creative you make, director. You make movies. Yeah, you make, yeah, you, yeah. Make, <laughs> you make stuff for television. Yeah. Made for TV. There's made for TV, which is me. Yeah, you, you, make, <laughs> you make for TV. Exactly. <laughs> this, this is not your YouTube channel. Like no. you don't make for YouTube. You make for like NBC and Fox. That's the idea, right? <laughs> um, but like, where what do you look for when you're looking at a, a video production person? Um, that you hire. I mean, what is it that you that you particularly like? And you said, this so is let my me guy. just start start by saying this. Uh, if, if you have so somebody like you is would be considered high end. If you're on a budget. Do not spend your money like if you can't if you can't drop three grand, don't spend your money in hiring a videographer. 
because there's all these idiots walking around with cameras that call themselves videographers, but they're not doing any ongoing training. If you're not doing ongoing training, I can't work with you. I've made the mistake of hiring a videographer that was garbage. I did it last year and he was referred to me, but I didn't know what I was looking for. Like I knew what I wanted, but I didn't, I, I, I couldn't articulate it because I'm not a creative. Mm -hmm. um, and and then I, I, I ended up working with somebody else and it just didn't, it just wasn't, they didn't have what it took to bring my message to light. And then I spoke at a, a, a meetup with uh, Colby K and I, I, this guy walked up to me and he was like, dude, let me just help you with your camera. Like, that's why I bought my own camera, just do my own stuff. And he said, let me help you out. And I said, what kind of work do you do? And he showed me and I just said, you know what? I'll help you, you help me. I normally don't do an exchange of services just All because right. I typically give more than I get. Um, but even if I didn't get much, I wanted to help this kid out. And he's the guy that's recently been doing my videos. It's, uh, at the, just to give him a shout out, the visual collection on Instagram. And this kid is hungry. Like I'm, I'm extremely hungry. So for me to be around somebody like I'm, you, 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 you gotta be darn near starving for, <laughs> for me to enjoy working with you. And this guy, he followed me. I mean, I mean, he came out with me to San Diego. We did the whole Gary V thing where he's recording me. Um, he's coming with me to pick up clients. I give him content. He puts it together. Right. So my, if you have a budget, like I said, and you can't drop three grand, start, start building relationships, start building relationships with people where you can add value to them and they can fill the gaps that you have. And that's where they add value to you. Right. And then as you get better, then you can start hiring people. And again, my videos, I had a meeting on Monday and I'm not gonna name the company, but it's a, a, a local company. They've seen all my videos. They've gone through all of my social media platforms and they like what I do. And they're like, we just wanna hire you, bring you on board to be a, you know, basically a, a, a confidence professor. You're gonna teach, once our students almost graduate, you're gonna instill them the command presence. All that's, I have one, two, I have four lights would cost me less than 300 bucks. Most of my videos came from my iPhone, which, I, these aren't cheap, but most of you have an iPhone or a yeah. phone. I have a little thing that my camera sits on top of. I use the lapel mic. So for less than 500 bucks, minus the phone, you have a studio. And then I have a, 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 a step and repeat, which looks legit. That was 500 bucks I got from some local guy. It's called a step and repeat, right? This is what famous, famous people walk on red carpet, they have a step and repeat. And then, then I need you to know my brand every time I get on camera, right? So it's, it's, it's the little thing. So if you're just getting started, don't overwhelm yourself. Don't, don't spend the money unless you have, unless you have money to hire somebody like TD films, don't spend the money because there's too many people out there walking around with a camera. And then you can use, like I did, a, a, I don't do it now. I use Fiverr to edit some stuff. So be okay. I mean, Fiverr's cheap. Fiverr is not competition for TD films because mm -hmm. TD films doesn't, charge $5 to do stuff or 50 bucks to do stuff. <laughs> so save your money and save up for somebody like Thomas Duran before you go out, just build, re build relationships or buy your own camera and be learn, watch some YouTube stuff on how to create content for yourself. It works. It's free. Oh man, that is great. That is fantastic. Dom. I love it. Great. Exactly. My point, my sentiment, exactly. Um, and, uh, dude, as we, uh, part ways here man we have to let's get together i as, as we're sitting here and, and some of the stuff that you're doing and some of the lifestyle and uh, um i love to meet your guy just to i would love to be able to do some collaboration type thing um and shoot some like have you go on your boat and i want to shoot some i want to i want to get together we should do a project together sometime and I'm down. Uh, let's create something it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun and be a, like like i said like, we I'm can a, do it before it gets hot Hell, yeah, hell yeah! I don't, I don't wanna, like sweating. If it and if it gets hot, if it, then we're gonna wait till after it cools down. Right, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, no, but he, he uh, will learn a lot from you. He's a good, he's a good kid. I'll, I'll, I'll introduce the two of you. Please do, please do. I'm always looking for great people, and that's the thing. I'm in this line of business. It's a, uh, it's relationship building. It's uh, mm -hmm. I, I can't do it all myself. I will never be able to do it all myself. Um and. Uh, and I, I love putting people and connect with people because that's what that's what how I got in this business is because I had people that brought me under their wing that brought me right. into other, you know, 
So I, like you're talking about the news. I used to work for the news. I used to work for ABC 15. Oh, did yeah. oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, man. I was there oh, on wow. the floor, dude. I would, I'll be the guy that was micing you up to get ready oh, for you. Oh, there's interview. a guy. So when I go to ABC 15, he runs in, mics me up, leaves. Leaves, He's gets back in the... <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. You were that guy? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that's a young man's job right yeah. there. Yeah, it was. It was, <laughs> man. It was. A, I'll tell you all about it. It was nuts. But, uh, you know, for 10 bucks an hour, it was awesome. <laughs> right. Exactly. And you're around a bunch of cool people. Yeah, it was a, it was a great job. Great experience. Um you know and uh but anyway it's one of those things that i want to do a project with you let's get that going but uh before we end where could people find you tell tell us where everyone can find you and link up with you you know um they can find me on 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 instagram they can find me which is at dom fawcett they can also find me on my uh, website which is thinkreactlead.com one person really goes there is my mom so you can also find me on facebook uh dom fawcett you can find me just, I hate to say this, Google me. Perfect. <laughs> everything will pull up. My podcast, like everything about me. Oh, that's another thing. Clean up your Google images. Just hire a company before you get almost kind of famous. And yes, almost kind of famous. It's a sentence. Clean up your images. Search your name. If there's images in there that you don't like, hire a company to clean, y'all, clean you up because you don't know who's going past page two to find out really who you are. Damn. More knowledge job by Don Fossett. Buddy, thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, thank you guys for joining Just Create Again. Uh, Stay tuned for the next episode and talk to you guys soon. See you later.